The IKEA catalog is the most printed book in the world, and over 75% of the catalog is 3D. Have you ever wondered how they make their products look so amazing? First thing we need is a product to render, and lucky for us, Chaos Cosmos is now included with Corona. You should have the Corona toolbar up here, and if you don't, you can just right click on an empty space and find the Corona toolbar and just make sure it's ticked on. And this is where we'll find tons of handy tools and we'll be using it quite a lot. And here you'll find Cosmos, and if you click on 3D models, you'll see all the models broken down into categories. And have a look around here for something you'd like to use, and don't worry about it too much as we'll have our scene set up and you'll be able to jump in and switch out your product. So I'm going to head into furniture, chairs, and I like the look of this chair. So notice this blue button in the top right, this means we can download our asset and once it's downloaded we can just hit import and it's imported into our scene. And this blue tick mark means it's now downloaded so you won't have to download it again so you can import it quicker next time. Using Alt and the middle mouse we can rotate. If we want to make our viewport 1 then we can click down here. And I'm just going to navigate, I'm holding down the middle mouse button to pan. Alt middle mouse to spin around and the zoom in and out is the middle mouse rolling. So I'm just going to set our camera up and then let's hit the camera plus icon and that's going to create a camera from the view. And then we can click start interactive rendering and this is where we're going to see our rendered image. And right now it's completely black and that's because we don't have any lights in our scene and there's a few ways we can light a scene but for this studio let's use a HDRI. So we're going to open up Cosmos and if we scroll down you'll find HDRIs in here. Now HDRI stands for High Dynamic Range Image and they're usually 360 degrees and they contain lighting information that can be used to light our scene. And notice we have a studio tab and these are all of the studios that are included in Cosmos and you can download the one you want to use and just hit import. And now we can see our product rendered. And up next we're going to have a little dig around in 3ds Max and I know it can look a little bit intimidating as there's so many buttons but the reality is you're likely only going to use around 20% of these tools regularly. So try not to let the interface overwhelm you. So most clients will want a pure white background and we can easily achieve that by opening up our render settings and heading down to the scene tab and down here you'll notice single map and that is where our HDRI is. And if we turn on overrides you can see that we've made the background completely black and we can change the color of this. So let's make that pure white and now our background is white. And you'll notice in some catalogs that clients are happy with completely white backgrounds with no shadows. And I think the shadows add some realism to the images. So let's take a look at doing that. Let's head over to the Modify tab and click on Plane. And I'm just going to open up the keyboard entry drop down and in length I'm going to put 1000 and in width 1000. And you can jump around these dialog boxes just by pressing the up and down arrows. And then I'm going to hit Create. And you can see we've created a plane in our view. And now we can see some really nice shadows and we can see some light bouncing up underneath the chair. And to wrap up, we want to add a material to this plane. So we can open up the material editor or press M on the keyboard and this is where we can create and manipulate materials. And all we want to do is create a Corona physical material which is over here and you can also right click materials and Corona physical material. And like the rest of Max there's tons of materials in here but you're only really going to be using the Corona physical material about 80% of the time. So if we double click on this we can see what it looks like and I'm just going to click and drag and drop that onto our plane and just maximize the viewport and you'll notice that the image expands to the size of your screen. And under here we have some tone mapping but the one thing we really want to do in here is just turn off the Asus OT to make sure that our background is pure white. Every few years I make a course about what I've learned about 3D and if you want to join the 25,000 students who are already learning with me then check out the link in the description.